Google. So mm-hmm. big, big 60 minutes. Like I said, I love 60 minutes. Great show. Um, they oh, had amazing. They had the CEO of mm-hmm. Google on yesterday. Yes, um, if anybody didn't get a chance to check it out, you should. It was it was good. Um, and he was talking about artificial intelligence. So Google, right? Obviously, you know, Google is the largest search engine ever. Uh, YouTube, which we're on right now, is owned by Google. Mm-hmm. Um, so they've dominated, you know, the internet for over a decade. But they they have they're losing the AI race. They're late to the party. Uh, Microsoft beat them. Chat GBT. Are they losing? Uh, well, so now that they're creating their own version or rival to Chat GBT. Yep. Yes, they, yes, um, yes. But they talked about a lot of different things in that interview. They talked about um, deep mind. Mm-hmm. Um, which which they've been working on for a while. They talked about artificial general intelligence, which is different from artificial intelligence. Artificial yeah. general you intelligence. Want to break that down? Um, yeah, but I just want to go through everything right, first. Okay, okay. And they also spoke about um jobs mm-hmm. that will be affected. Got the they list. talked about how artificial intelligence will. The CEO. I, I don't want to misquote him here. So the CEO. This is the CEO of Google. Sundar by the way, Pachai. He said that. Um. He's worried uh, AI will impact every product across every company. Yes. Like no job. I wrote that quote. No job. No. Everybody. No company yep. will, will, will be not um, affected by AI. They talked about how a lot of times um, AI will be working hand to hand, for lack of a better term, with the your employee. Partner. Yep. So that's like your work partner. Mm-hmm. So you got to you know learn to work with AI. Um, they showed their robots that were playing soccer. Yo, that was crazy. Um, but the, the crazy thing about that is that the robots taught themselves how to play soccer. Right. So they started out when they played like most kids do, just run toward the ball. But they kept playing over time. They adapted, they learned, and they became more skilled as they went on, which is like you're watching this thing happen in real time. This is this is crazy. There's another quote. And but the last thing. There's another, there's another quote, though. There's okay. another quote. So he did say impact every product across every industry. But one of the, the things that stuck out to me at the piece, he said, uh, AI can be as good or as evil as human nature allows. Well, that's what yeah, 19 Key said. It's not, it's not, it's not AI that's evil. It's it's a human that's evil because the, the human has to train the AI. Um, he also they also showed their um chess master. They're developing a chess master, um, artificial oh. intelligence. Yeah. Um, so this is a lot of different things in the artificial, um, general intelligence. So mostly artificial intelligence is trained for one thing, right? It's like, uh, you could train, uh, to computer program, right. Or you could train something to actually, um, logistically to, to drive a car, mm-hmm. but the artificial general intelligence is like humans. Humans have general intelligence where now you can be educated on a variety of different things. That changes and it. now you can ch- move in and out of conversations, move in and out of tasks. You could go from painting a wall to hammering a screw playing to ping pong. <laughs> playing ping pong to speaking Spanish yeah. to reading a child a um a nighttime story, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's yeah. artificial general intelligence, where now it's a variety of different things that's all working together. So that was a very, very yeah. interesting conversation. Um, so we I, we want to dissect this. It was so crazy. Who wants to go first? I, I just want to say one thing. Is, is the air condition working? <laughs> It is. It's getting hot. Okay. Muy caliente. Yo, muy caliente. The yes. the part about it that I think is impressive and may go overlooked. The most important person throughout that entire piece. Yes, the Sundar is is the CEO of Google, but the most important man inside of the AI the AI space is a black man from Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Tell us more. Aliki Bole Shalo. James <laughs> Manyeka, Manyeka, he uh Oxford grad, just a brilliant mind. But his job is to make sure that we compare AI and humanity in a way that is effective and doesn't become evil. So like he has the job of making sure that for Google, at least, that this AI is used in its appropriate manner, which is like a huge, huge task. This guy becomes like one of the most important people in the history of the world because Absolutely. this technology can become argue, skynet it is the most it's the most important technology maybe he said since fire um yeah i agree <laughs> it's the most like to, yeah um bill gates said this is only this is only this is the second uh revolutionary technology that ever came out in his lifetime 
obviously the internet being the first. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, they said that this is one. This is probably one of the most important uh, technologies ever. Yeah. One of the most important inventions ever. Yeah. It made me think of the conversation we had last week when we were talking about if we would implant those chips in our brain. Because when they were talking about BARD and the operating system, how that works, they said the semiconductors that use BARD, right, that are used inside of it, they operate at 100,000 times faster than the human brain. Mm-hmm. And BARD, that's their version of chat. That's their version of chat. Yeah, that's the AI version. I mean, did you guys see the the company that put the, the brain models on Locust and controlled them with AI? It's fascinating. It's fascinating. Like, and this is like, and the number one reason for this tool is automation. Of course, automation. Every time you hear that, I want you guys to think job destruction. Mm-hmm. Number one reason for it. Like, I am begging you. I am doing it myself. Me and Ty was here in Puerto Rico going over. Like, it's like forty new apps that comes out every day. It's like almost too much. But I also said I have not felt this excited about entrepreneurship since I found trading. So figuring out how to use them all together. I even reposted like that Drake and Weekend collaboration. That was um, Last night I was up like messing with Resemble and I only uploaded, I think, 25 clips. And it was kind of robotic in how I did my voice, but it did model my voice in like 15 minutes. So I'm like, if I upload 400 clips, what can I do at that point? So you have to be involved in this technology or we are going to be pushed out effectively. Yeah, so Bard, the way they did it was they let it study the internet for a few months. It studied every single piece of content on the internet to come up with its prompts. Yep. So when you when you were talking about something that's computing at a hundred thousand times faster per minute, like this is, think about that. Like, there's no way to compete with that. Now you said job destruction, right? But the way that the piece kind of made it look, it was more less about job destruction, but more about job efficiency. Right? Yeah, but if I'm involved with Google, one right. of the biggest I'm just saying the, way, the way they made yeah. the because even when they were talking about chess, it was like, yeah, in one week it was better than uh, the grandmaster. And then by two weeks, it was the greatest player of all time. In a month, it figured out ways to move chess pieces that nobody's ever seen. Never thought of. Yep. I, they couldn't even, the human brain couldn't even compute it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So now if you think about that in terms of jobs, number one, why is it able to do that? Because it never stops working. Mm-hmm. It's always computing and it's computing at such a fast speed and it never has to stop. This becomes more efficient because if you have machineries inside of, let's say a factory and, and they were talking about, and we had this conversation too about what are people buying? They're buying warehouses. It's not to put inventory in, it's to put machinery and into store data. It. Yeah. They can actually store data and, and compute. It was like, oh, but if you have that automated and moving at that speed, how more efficient is your business now? My graduates from my school being Forbes, bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs> a mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs>